Hi ladies, I'm back with my second video today and I'd like to share with you a project I made. Um, one of my friends asked me if I would make a, a name plaque for their niece for their bedroom door or to be hung in their room. So he told me her name which is Amber and he told me that her bedroom was pink and white. So I'll show you what I came up with. So this is what I made. And I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And I really hope that she likes it. I mean, she's she's quite little. She's only one and a half, but well, I hope her parents like it. <laughs> Um, so I painted it uh, pink and then I saw, I colour washed it with a white background and then I painted the wood name in the same pink and then I put two lots of lace on it so I put a white lace underneath and then I put this pale pink lace on top and then a bead trim and here is one of the flowers that I've made and I put some lace around that the same white lace that I've got underneath and then I put one of these pearl centers in I used one of these butterflies which I glimmer misted to add a bit of extra sparkle and then this side another flower that I made with a pearl trim and a nice white feather I do love feathers there's just something very elegant about feathers <laughs> and then down here I glue misted some leaves and a little bead spray there and then these are all wild orchid craft flowers I think these are the, the cherry blossom ones here so they've got whites pink and white and then the pink ones and again there and then some of the roses I didn't want to put too much on it because I thought because she's quite little I wanted it to be just quite pretty but but not not overly decorated oh yeah I've got a pearl spray up here as well I'll just put on the stand so I'm I'm hoping they like it I love it but then it's my kind of style but I'm just hoping that they love it as much as I do. So I really enjoyed making that because I was actually making it for somebody that I don't actually know. And sometimes that's quite nice. And I think sometimes it's harder to make things for people that you know. Um, whereas if you don't know them, you can use your own imagination rather than trying to make something that fits in with person certain style but that's just me probably <laughs> but um let me know what you think um i haven't put any hangings on it yet because i don't know what type of um door they have and whether they want to put hooks on it or or whether they're gonna i might give them one of these stands actually because I can buy these in our town centre, you get two for 99p, so I might buy them a, a stand, give them a stand to go with it in case they decide not to hang it on the door. Um, but I'll let you know what they think of it when I hear. <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted to share with you quickly is a very small um, haul, and it is very small. It's just a few things I picked up at charity shops yesterday. Um, so the first thing I found was this candlestick. 
um, which is just a plain wood one but I do actually have a project in mind for this I won't say any more yet because I need to cut a section of it off actually first so I'll see how that turns out but as soon as I complete the project I will share it with you but that just cost me 90 pence but it was exactly what I was looking for for this project um, then I found this small cameo and this was 50p so I was really happy with that because I can never have enough cameos <laughs> um, and I found this cherub and um, I just thought it was so cute it's like a plaster I think and um, I paid £1.49 but I really liked it because it was flat backed and I thought I'd be able to add it onto a project and I could paint it and distress it I'm not really sure I haven't got a project in mind for it but I just loved it when I seen it so I had to buy it so that I've got it for when I need it <laughs> because I would never be able to find one if I went looking for one so I'm really happy with that and then I found this sorry for the glare um, this chipboard album and it's in the, the scallop circle so I was really happy with that I might actually give this to my mum because um, she hasn't done many mini albums yet so I'm trying to encourage her to do some so I think this would be a fun one so mum I'll drop this down to you when I'm next down so I was happy with that and then um, my husband took me for lunch yesterday because oh, sorry I'm sniffling um, because we've been, we're off work this week and um, well I haven't been well for the past few days but um, I felt well enough to go out yesterday so he took me out so we went out to lunch and we popped into a small uh, haberdashery shop and I picked up a well actually he picked up a few bits for me but I chose them <laughs> so I got some felt in cream and some in white and I use that for the back of my flowers so these two colours are the main ones I use so I'm quite happy with those and then he bought me a few eyelet, eyelet trim so I got this white one which is really cute really pretty I'm really happy with that and then this cream one and it's really pretty I'm really happy with that and then this one again in cream So that, that's a smaller version, this one's quite a deep one. I can just show you. So. I was really, really pleased with these. I do love this kind of trim. And then lastly, this, this one that I can add ribbon to. And this again is in the cream. I do have a, a white ribbon like this. But it's nice to have the cream. And again I do have a, a few, well a project in mind where I want to use some of this. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so that was my few buys that I got yesterday. And... Um, I'm quite happy with them and I'm hoping to be using them soon over the next few days 
so hopefully I'll have another project to share with you in the next couple of days and um, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.